practice out at Christchurch helicopters so if you've got any questions specific to helicopter training and or instructing then he's the, he's the guy to ask so and at the end of it well after a few minutes you're most welcome to come and have a look through the machines and um, ask any questions over there as well we've got some um, other people over there that are pilots and engineers as well so um, don't be shy and generally for all of these people here who fly and whatnot um, that's where it starts out from, so it's at. But you'll find as you go through the training and bits and pieces like that, it's a lot easier, as you probably know, to turn up for a topic that you are interested in, personally, and that you like. So um, the, the book work side of it, if you're keen, you'll get through that. So that's generally one of the, the first things that you need to know is that there will be exams, and it's at 13, and he's got all of his PPL exams, so you, know, you guys will probably guess who that is, but anyway. Um, so, going through, you'll do the study. Now, I kid you not, you guys, probably if you go the aviation, and this will be against everything Alan says here, if you go the airline way, I bet you in 10 years' time there won't be a pilot sitting up there anyway. Um, and, it, and it's moving very, very fast in, in that direction. And, you know, the classic is the London Underground. There's a man sitting up front, but he's not allowed to touch anything. It's all computerised. 